Hi everyone. Welcome to day two of the Multifaceted Mama Diaries. I will tell you that today or tonight, um, I had mixed feelings, mixed thoughts about coming on and doing this recording, this diary recording tonight. Um, you know, at first I was excited to come on and talk about some of the, are you okay, waking? It's okay, you can sleep. She's so tired. I had mixed thoughts because first I was excited. I wanted to share about some of the, the thoughts I had come up around a, a, a mom's community event that I attended today um, and some things that were shared there and how they sparked um, some ideas, some thoughts in my head and, and to talk about those in particular thoughts around love and war um, and how that plays out in our society and, and how that's discussed um, as far as spirituality and in churches and how that conversation goes as, as parents and and me as um, someone that's part of an interfaith couple. Um, and so how that conversation goes in, in my own relationship. And I was excited to come on and, and kind of talk about that, share about that, just share some of my ponderings about that. Um, but then on the drive home from there, um, conversation with my oldest came up around experiences um, she was having at school um, and racial slurs being made. And, you know, it's a hard one. It's a hard one. Um, I'm a minority, I'm, a, I'm multiracial, and so is my oldest, so is my daughter. I mean, all of my kids are multiracial, um, but she is a different, my oldest has a different father, and so she is, um, you know, mixed with a darker complexion than my other kids um, in a different way. Her, her makeup is different racially, and we recently moved, um, and the area we moved to um, is less diverse than the area that we moved out of. And being in middle school and navigating that and me being her mom and wanting to support her with that. And it's also Black History Month right now and racial slurs being thrown around, you know, in the school towards, um, not even necessarily towards her, but towards friends um, and regular exposure to that that she seems to be having and how to navigate that. Um, it is something that we have had to navigate before and it's not pleasant anytime that we need to navigate this. It is an opportunity for me to, to learn and to grow as a parent um, and also to be very thoughtful and how I want to support her to advocate with and for her and also to encourage her to um, practice standing up for herself for advocating for herself but also knowing when to talk to an adult and and that balance is not easy and I certainly don't want every it all to be on her shoulders um, and so navigating that right and so if you're a parent listening to this and Maybe you're coming from a multiracial background or a minority background, or maybe you have friends or your partner is coming from that background. My partner is white. He doesn't know what it means or what the experience is to be multiracial, but he has multiracial children. Um, and that has shifted his perspective of the world since being with me and since having children with me. And being a parent and supporting my kids in this day and age in a way that I need to support them it takes consideration. Uh, it takes compassion. It's certainly not something that I can tend to or address effectively if I just come from a reactionary place. And so my focus shifted for, you know, what I was going to talk about here in the diaries. And I'm going to continue to reflect upon how I want to can, you know, navigate that situation with her. I want to continue to reflect upon that love and war pondering that I considered bringing in this diary today. But then I sat down before I hopped on here and I thought, you know, 
but it's, it's overall been, it's been a really wonderful day. And I thought about all of the experiences I had today and all the things I've done today and all the people I've interacted with today, some wonderful clients who I love working with, some great collaboration calls with beautiful people, um, some nice time with the little one. We went for a nice walk. It was like 62 degrees out, even though it's still winter, um, which was very interesting, but it was a really nice walk and snuggled with her for a bit and um, got some writing done for an article that I'm writing and reviewed another article that I had already written that needed to be reviewed and got to go to this mom's group and ate some good food, some salmon and sweet potatoes and asparagus. It was yummy, right? Overall, I had a really wonderful day. And, and even that conversation with my oldest in the car around the racial slurs, obviously that's not something that I want anyone to have to deal with let alone, you know, my own children. But being able to have that conversation, being able to have a safe space for her to come to me and to discuss that, it just means the world to me to have that quality time together. And so I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful that we get to have those conversations. I'm grateful that we get to connect in that way. I'm grateful that you know, I make, I make an effort and I set an intention and I follow through with action to really be able to spend quality time with my children and also be able to show up, right? For, for my clients, for myself, did some meditation today and some writing today and really committed, continuing to commit to that for myself post-maternity and really allow myself to be refined more. Continuing to be refined, but also wanting to appreciate the refinement that's already happened. And so I think I'm going to wrap it up here for tonight because this little one is so tired. <laughs> and I have more reflecting to do, more writing to do, more meditating to do that I would like to explore on my own and maybe bring some more tidbits back to you next time. See you next time.